Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today, we are going over to the Contemporary Resort at Walt Disney World to have breakfast at Steakhouse 71. We had not been to Steakhouse 71 yet. Uh, it used to be The Wave. We were at The Wave, but hadn't tried the new restaurant. And we decided, what the heck, we're going to see what it's like for breakfast. And if you've been curious about what it's like to dine at Steakhouse 71, particularly for breakfast, take a look. To get to Steakhouse 71, you are going to cross all the way through the lobby at the Contemporary Hotel at Walt Disney World. It is in the back corner right here. And you'll get to the little entrance with Steakhouse 71 and a bizarre looking little hallway when you look down through there. It's kind of Beetlejuice-ish. Um, but when you walk through it, it's got a lot of old photographs of, of Walt Disney and Julie Andrews and Roy Disney and a lot of uh, classic moments captured from the past. Uh, really neat photos to walk down through there and take a look at. Uh, when you're waiting on your table, you've got a nice spacious little, little lobby area here and uh, over on the other side there's a, there's a bar it wasn't open because we're here for breakfast and you know we're not alcoholics but uh, when you start to enter the restaurant you'll notice it kind of looks um sort of like uh i don't know it's kind of like a denny's or a shoney's and it's set up basically is the is the feel that we get and like i said we were here for breakfast and they've got all the breakfast classics you know omelets and eggs benedict and um, different types of toasts and bacon, sausage. But we started out with some bread. This is a really cool bread platter. It's got uh, uh, different types of danishes, a croissant. It's got an apple type danish there. There's a chocolate chip one, as well as sort of a, a fruit danish. And um, these are all really good and moist and tasty, a good starter. And then we jump right into the omelets, yes. This is, um, it's a it's a veggie omelet. It's got spinach and mushrooms, tomatoes, Swiss. Um, it's got breakfast potatoes, and look how good that is. I mean, it's super. Look at the tomatoes, so fresh. It's moist. It's really, really well prepared. And then I tried the Waltz prime rib hash. And this is seared prime rib, fried potatoes, caramelized onions and peppers. And then they typically put a fried egg on top, but I don't like fried eggs. So I had them scramble mine. Man, this was really good. I don't know what seasoning they put on the steak, but it's very different and really good. Um, I would reckon, recommend both of these places. So great breakfast, especially that, that hash right there. So if you are around the contemporary area at Walt Disney World, stop in Steakhouse 71 and give it a shot for breakfast. It's very good. There you go. That is a look at the breakfast dining experience at Steakhouse 71 over at the Contemporary Resort at Walt Disney World. It, uh, it, it was really good. It was really good. We would definitely go back for that. Uh, pricing was, was fine. It was, you know, uh, actually a, a lot less than some of the breakfast locations at Walt Disney World. And the food was really, really well prepared. So it's really good breakfast. So if you have dined there, let us know what you think about Steakhouse 71 in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.